Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can wrap text around an object or person or shape. So I've got this example still photo from a Travis Scott music video and this is a good example of just a clear subject in the foreground and open space in the background. The first thing we're going to want to do is grab our pen tool and make sure you have it set to shape mode but make sure the fill is set to nothing so that strike through none and no stroke either. Here we're going to want to begin. You can begin really at any point. I'm going to choose this corner point and hold shift whenever you want to make a straight line. And we're going to approach our subject or shape. And then really casually, we can just go around the outline of the image, just leaving a little bit of space just for aesthetic reasons, it's nice to emphasize that shape around the object, not get too close of an outline. So it's quite easy. We're not making a perfect, totally aligned to every curve shape. It's quite casual. Now, when we reach the bottom point here again, one thing you can do if, if you're being a perfectionist and want to align it with the previous line is go to view and make sure you have rulers turned on. Command R is the shortcut. And you can drag a ruler down to match up with that line just so you can have the same evenness. And you can also drag rulers along the side if you want to have the same measurements on each side of the border. But you don't have to. You can always eyeball it if it's not too important. But we're going to hold shift again. We're going to click and make those points and keeping shift held down, we're going to use those rulers to match up and close our shape. So you see we kind of made a shape around the object rather than selecting the object itself. Now once you're done with all these guides and rulers, you can always turn them off by going to show and turning off the guides. That way you don't see them, you just see the shape you created. Now that we have our shape, you should see it created a new shape layer and with the shape layer active, if we click our text tool, so horizontal type, and we go to the start of that shape, you should see the cursor turn into the cursor with a little circle around it. And when we click, it'll start typing within this shape box, which now we've turned into a text box. So you can type out whatever you want. Or in my case, I've gone to his Wikipedia and copied a little paragraph about him from the Wikipedia page. And I can just paste that in here and it'll paste it in. Now, a quick tip, whenever you want to select everything, you can click it all or you can always right click and select all because sometimes when you increase the size too much, it's hard to select everything. So right click, select all, remember that little tip. But now we want to start playing around with the font, the size and the paragraph and character panels. So we want to go to window and make sure you have the character. Sometimes that'll open up right with the paragraph panel. I'm using the font Helvetica but you can use whatever you want. I'm going to adjust the size to something that I think looks good or works for this example. And then I can adjust the spacing or the letting between each line. And in the paragraph window, you do have options to adjust the alignment. So you can left align it, center, right, or you can use these that spread the text out through the entire shape. Um, they do leave a little bit more spacing in between, but it's all up to you. I'll leave it at that one. It's just a nice filled out look. A few more little tips if you want to add some emphasis or switch up some details is let's say I wanted to make one word bigger and more emphasized than the rest. In this case, his artist name. I can highlight that specific part, make it larger than the rest, and then just make sure I account for the bigger font with some new letting and spacing. Just make sure it can breathe. And you can also maybe even change the color or font or boldness of just one part of the text. And also another thing that you can do, something you might notice in the thumbnail, is some gradual blending and fading. So since the text is all on its own layer, you can always lower the opacity or change the blending mode around. Or in my case, you can add layer masks. So if you go to layer, layer mask, and just choose reveal all, you have this layer mask that applies in the layer. And if we use something like a gradient with just a black to white linear gradient, we can apply some gradient layer masks on there if we want to 
have some gradual fading or you can see what it would look like if the text was just on one side. So layer masks are very useful. You can apply them onto any layer and I have full separate tutorials on that. But that's the basic effect on how to create text around a custom shape or person or object. If you enjoyed this video, definitely click the subscribe button on my channel so you stay tuned for all of my new future videos. And you can check out more Photoshop and other software editing tutorials on my channel. If you want to keep up with me or reach out directly, the best place to do that is on my social media. So you can follow me at Justin Odisho on Instagram and Twitter. It's the best place to reach out directly with a question or just connect. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.